Hi everyone, uh, I just wanted to jump out and do a quick intro because I'm afraid, I haven't looked at the footage yet, but I'm afraid I look a little like scary. Uh, not scary, just not my best, like looking really tired, barefaced, I'm about to do like makeup or skincare in what I filmed yesterday, but today is a vlog. I had so much fun with this, there's so much I want to fit into it. This is probably going to be really long if I include everything. Um, I'm hoping you guys enjoy it and that we can continue this. If you did enjoy this at the end, please let me know because uh, that will keep me going because if people don't, then I'll probably lose interest myself. But I love it. I love just jumping on my phone like I am now. Um, the quality is probably not the same. Oh, it's my mess in the background. Um, uh, sneak peek at what's coming tomorrow. I haven't filmed it yet, but I have my beauty boxes, so I kind of peeked inside my box terms because I already did. Uh, but yeah, for Megan Monday, it's going to be very beauty-centric. Uh, <laughs> so, I know you guys like that, like I do. So, super exciting. But, yeah, enjoy the vlog. I hope you do. I love you so much. And, here's past me. <laughs> Hi, everyone. Uh, welcome to a day in the life. It's starting at um, almost 10 p.m. But, we don't really follow rules here anyway. So, just the day it doesn't have to start in the morning. Uh, this is kind of when my day starts anyway. So I just took a shower after my brief nap, the only time I slept today. So uh, after I put on that herbivore mask that I got in my Ipsy X. So if you guys missed that video, I posted it really late last night. So I will uh, leave that down below. I'll try and leave like a whole list of things I talked about in this vlog. But I'm really excited to vlog again. So uh, yeah, right now I'm doing that mask, which smells like cinnamon. Why did I say it smells like herbs? Just because it's called herbivore. I don't know. Uh, but it smells like cinnamon. It doesn't tingle on me right now. It's like an AHA. What's it called? I don't know. I can show you guys when I come back if you care. But uh, yeah. so right now I am hydrating before I can have any caffeine. I know it's late. I'm a night owl. And I'm going to write down some vlog topics I want to talk about this weekend or like whatever. And then to-do list for tonight. I've been bad about lists and getting things done. I've been getting things done, but not as much as I probably should. Uh, so that's what I am doing right now. And you guys can kind of see my chair. I love this new chair so much. I'll show you more of my space later. I'll put that on my vlog list. Show space. I want to like show space and maybe like my altar and like my stuff I've been really into. What else do I want to do? There's so much I was just thinking about when I was showering and now I'm like... Oh, the story I was going to tell you guys. I don't know if it's that interesting or if I even want to get into it, but I'll write that down. How do I forget everything? I keep looking at the wrong part. You guys are over here. I look tired as hell, so we'll see how I look after this. Hopefully I look better. <laughs> I will. I'm going to do my makeup. Um, oh, I want to talk about giveaways. Maybe, like, organize that with you guys when I chat with you. There's so much I want to do. So, yeah, that's what I'm doing right now. I'm making my list. Uh, I need water, which is right over there, my Gatorade, and then I can have my iced coffee my friend brought me earlier. It's super exciting, right? <laughs> Saturday night. Woo uh, and I have some, like, work to do, but, yeah. Oh, I want to talk about merch. Pricing. I guess I can talk about that now. Well, no, I'm going to try not to get into it because my alarm's going to go off soon, but, yeah. Welcome to the vlog. Uh, Emmy, say welcome. Say hi. Not being in touch with all day is eight. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, that's that for now. Uh, I'll be back looking better, better lighting, better everything, uh, hopefully. I don't know, I'm on my phone right now, obviously. I don't know if that's obvious, but all my stuff is set up behind me. I'm still so tired. Why did I even start this? Am I going to put this in? I don't know. Probably, but <laughs> maybe not as the intro. <laughs> ah, I want to say bye every time. See you soon. <laughs> I was thinking, I'm like, why am I so against this company, <laughs> 111 Skin? I'm not, like, against them. I'm just, like, is it worth it? Like, the price tag, you know? Because, um, like, other brands are expensive. They have the name to them, at least. You know, like, the popularity, whatever. Uh, but, yeah, so we're going to do a little test here. Rose Gold Radiance Booster. You guys have to let me know. Does my skin look more luminous? Radiance? Whatever. I need it. I look Well, actually, my skin looks healthy itself. That mask, um, the Prism Mask by Herbivore. Uh, that was fine. It didn't tingle or anything. I think my skin looked good, but it looked really good once I put oil on it. Let's see. Then half my face. It's like a shimmery liquid. They say you could... Um, yeah, my phone doesn't show things nearly as well. Ew, that kind of looks cool. <laughs>
Uh -uh. So you can mix it with moisturizer? Yeah, it definitely makes me look more radiant. <laughs> it does also emphasize pores, but I feel like that's what a lot of these products do. I don't know if it looks that different. I need to put my real camera on soon. I just wanted to jump on quick and test this out. I didn't even really notice the smell. Now I do. I kind of like it. What was this, like $135? <laughs> Oh. Let's see what Miss Chloe said again. Her secret weapon from that lit from within look. I think sleep and hydration. I don't have the sleep part. Or hydration yet. <laughs> Rose water and niacinamide. Okay. And hyaluronic acid. Like everything. And light reflecting gold. At least they say the gold's for light reflecting and not like any skincare benefits. I, as far as I know, unless things have changed, uh, there's nothing proven. I just found out that Samantha Ravendahl has a makeup brand. It's called Auric, which has revolved around aura. Like, why can't I think? Like, gold is AU, like in the periodic table. Or well, I want to say aura. <laughs> so tired. Um, so she's like the skin tint I want, but it's sold out in my shade and some like eyeshadow duos are kind of expensive. But has anyone like read reviews? Like I'm so out of the loop. Like, uh, fill me in. I found out because Twitter, like Twitter, I like Twitter. <laughs> she's having a baby any day now too. Like what is going on? I don't know. I, yeah, I need to, I want to just like spend time reading about things that don't really matter. <laughs> but anyways, I'm going to get ready, wake up and I will see you soon. Hey guys, so it's like five hours later or something. I don't know. It's really late now. What time is it? I was about to look at my watch like I've worn one anytime recently. No, but it's like 3 a.m. I actually ended up having kind of a social night. I had like a Skype call with a friend and then one of my friends stopped by. They're letting me borrow their like portable steam mop. It's amazing. I want to get one for my own, like myself, but it's not made anymore. I'm thinking about showing you guys. I'm such a nerd with cleaning, I know, but like I feel like I'm not the only one. I'm just obsessing over it because... I unknowingly lived my life disgustingly. Like I was like, I kept things like neat, like but not, I never deep cleaned in my life until like three months ago. <laughs> and now I'm obsessed. Uh, and I realized I got my second Grove order, Grove Collaborative uh, yesterday. And I just got so excited, like took it all out. Like got excited about cleaning products. Who am I? <laughs> I guess it's not surprising anymore. Cookies and cleaning. Look at my shirt. I've been wanting to show you. I'll talk about the next. Uh, so should I show you guys my Grove stuff or is it boring? Um, I will for sure leave my like referral link if you guys are interested in subscribing. I think it's totally worth it. I get so much stuff. It's like, it seems like a lot, like $100 a month, but I'm just stocking up. Like I'm about to move in a few, within a few months. So I'm cleaning a lot more than most people. And I still don't think that's that bad. And all their stuff is all natural. So I think I am going to show you guys. I don't know if it'll be this vlog, but soon, uh, but let me know if I should like incorporate it into a video, like the unboxing of it next time. Uh, I think they're pretty great, but yeah, they always have all these like discounts when you first sign up too. I think if you use a link like my referral link, you'll get something free, uh, maybe even money off. I can't remember. I think I'm also an affiliate. I've signed up, but I don't know what one's better. I'll put both deals uh, unless one's not great. I don't know. Uh, honestly, I have no idea what the affiliate one would be. I think if you use my referral link, I get $10 credit. So thank you if you do. Uh, but when you sign up, you also get all these free things. And in my second order, I got some free stuff because I spent over a certain amount of money. I think you only need to spend over 20 something dollars to get a free gift. And their minimum is $29. So you get a free gift every time, I think. It just varies based on how much you spend. And yeah, I think it's awesome. Uh, monthly reminder to clean too. And you can customize it each month and stuff like that. But you guys, I put this on to show my friend. I had to wear another shirt underneath it because it does not cover my boobs. Like common theme with crop tops. But uh, one day when I was on an eBay auction, 
thing. I don't know, what would you call it, like spiral? <laughs> I was like, I need a Cookie Monster shirt because I pretty much am a Cookie Monster. I eat cookies every single day. I just had one. Uh, I always like my teeth because I said the last one of the fudge mint Oreos. They're so good, but each one, each cookie is 120 calories. I don't count or anything. Um, I'm fine. Like, I feel like I'm fine, I'm healthy. Anyone that talks about me like in a concerned way, I'm blocking you probably from my channel, but uh, yeah, I don't, I'm not like a crazy counter, but like it's like heavy, you know, like they're like so good. They're rich, you can't have too much at a time because when you do, it hurts your tummy. Uh, but I relate to Cookie Monster now. Like how I used to say I like relate to Larry David. Like, I don't even know, <laughs> maybe not. I don't even remember the character. I haven't watched Sesame Street in so long. But the, it says Street Life on the bottom. This is like, like they say it's vintage, but I don't think, I wasn't sure what vintage meant, so I looked it up one day. It means over 20 years old, I think, is a common, like, accepted definition. But, yeah, it's dirty because I had makeup on my face, or I have makeup on my face. But I love it. But, yeah, I can't really wear it unless I have something underneath it, which is fine. Uh... What else did I want to tell you guys? So yeah, I have this really long to-do list that I keep adding to. There's like multiple different types of to-do lists on here and I've done like nothing, but it's Saturday night and I had some social time. That's good, right? <laughs> so I'll probably be up for a little bit longer. Um, but I think well, I'm gonna go downstairs and bring you along with me and show you the steamer maybe. Because cleaning, Saturday, crazy. What are you guys doing by the way? Uh -huh, so yeah. This is my top and I love it. And my jorts I love too. Oh, I was gonna add this. So I'm starting a list of all the PR items I've received because I want to start incorporating them into videos. And it's long. So I have an Amazon haul I have to do. Oh, I have so many questions for you guys. <laughs> I wish this was live. I got a huge pack, well not huge, it's like a smaller box, but there's a lot in there. Of It's packed with colored contacts and I'm really excited. Right when I got it, I had that like eye thing going on and I'm still a little nervous. Uh, but I ordered some contact solution, but I don't think it's the right stuff because it says like you need to use, clean it for, or it's like the stuff you use to clean it and then you use solution. I don't know. I've never had contacts. I have no idea how to use them. I think I need to get a case too. So you, do you guys use two different like fluids or solutions with your contacts? Like I think the one I bought is unnecessary maybe because it says you can also use hydrogen peroxide though for another stuff. I'm just going to grab it. <laughs> So I grabbed the contacts too. <laughs> this is Sensitive Eyes Saline Solution. So I got this because I was like, well, I'm, my, I don't know if my eyes are that sensitive, maybe now, but gentle pH balance and made with potassium, a component of natural tears. And it says for rinsing, soft contact lenses, which are the ones I have, or gas permeable. And this is not for use for a disinfectant. So do you disinfect and then you put them in this? Like, I think it does say you can use hydrogen peroxide, which I have. I go through really quick though. It says saline solution is never to be used for like disinfection, whatever. But are there some that do both? Like, why do I need to rinse it if I'm gonna have the other stuff? Someone like me, I should know this stuff. I feel like I like had one class on this, but I thought you, you know, I don't remember rinsing is a separate thing so i didn't even read about it like the what i was purchasing i just thought this was saline solution for your contacts and then i got two of them <sighs> i mean you can find reason i got i can use this like i've got something in my eye or something it has boric acid which is a common component of eye stuff i'm like thinking of i don't want to be wasteful if i don't end up using this so you rinse this before you insert okay so if you have sensitive eyes you want to rinse it after so your eyes don't get I'm irritated from like the disinfectant. Okay, I get it now, I guess. So I had to buy something else. But the fun part, <laughs> I got these, like they contacted me forever ago and then I got these like a month ago. So I kind of forgot they were even coming. And how, nice. Oh, there's cases here to hold them. I think I got eight here. Oh, there's little tweezers with each case too. Kind of looks like a cassette player. Sorry, I'm on my phone again. Hopefully it's not too bad. Oh my god, I haven't been paying attention to how I look. It's 3 a.m. That's okay. And I don't have my real camera, which I think has better settings. I don't know, whatever. So, what shades did they send me? I sent, they told me to pick a certain amount, but I picked like way more. I'm like, 
just send whatever you want. But I like, would take anything. I'm so excited to finally use them. I've always wanted to put a contact in, but a colored contact, like I'm okay with my eye color. Like I still am not positive what to check off. I think it's more green than blue, but again, I don't know. I feel like it just looks gray right now or dark. So this one, Gem Choco, or yeah, so it's like brown. I think Gem is a type of like, not design of your eyes, like chroma. No, I don't know, whatever. It's too late to think about that stuff. But the color <laughs> is brown. So I, that would be interesting. And then this one is Sitha Gray. I think that would look cool too. Like, I don't know, I feel like I had to put them in to really show, oh, that's not really. Wow, the white balance is really off on my phone <gasps> with the light. And this one is like a bright blue. I think when I'm further away, you can see more. Violet. I've always wanted purple eye contact, colored eye contacts ever since they like came out when I was like, I don't know, I think colored contacts first came around when I was like young, like young teenager maybe, I don't know. Here's another gray. So there's two of each. Oh, wait, hazel. There's two different types of blues. Norco blue. I saw that. It smells a little different, but I'm like, are Norco tablets blue? Like, wouldn't that be weird? But I mean, there's generics and stuff. God, I'm like referencing my like pharmacist past. I don't do opioids. I would, if I did, I would know the color of like the common ones. I'm pretty sure they're like white though. Um, and I'm way too hyper. <laughs> I uh, just have to say that cause sometimes people like the more sober I am they like think I'm drunk or something I'm like I haven't drank like really in like a year <laughs> more <laughs> more than a year now Another brown. so yeah got a lot of contacts and how long do these last I don't know I don't know anything about contacts this is so fun oh and they have so the company is just for Cura and if I oh there's directions good um, if I have a promo code or anything I talk about, I always leave it down below. I honestly have no idea what it is with them. Gently hold it. I have a feeling this might be hard the first time. Soak the contact lenses for six to eight hours in multi-purpose lens solution before the first time use. So, I should have read that. I thought I was buying that. I need to place an Amazon order. I want to get a steamer of my own. I have two steamers. I have a carpet steamer, which I've showed you guys before, the Bissell, which is great, like heavy duty, like do it like every few months on your carpet at home. Great to have, um, especially if you have pets. And then I have one for clothes, but it's really old and it's not the best. I, th I tried to use it on my carpet originally and it like just fizzled out. I just, you have to like, be holding it upright. So you can't really use it for like cleaning jobs around the house. And now that I have this one my friend gave me, oh my God. It is so I'm like way too excited to talk to you guys. I'm just gonna hold you like this. One second. It's like good. Sorry, I don't know why I'm apologizing. Uh, it cut you off. I think I kind of changed things around here. I don't know why I'm saying that. You guys don't really know uh, what my house is. I'm so bad about looking at you guys when I'm on my phone. But I was starting to talk to you about how I love this tripod slash thing to carry your phone. Ooh, you guys, I got decorated today in this huge box. It's the first time I've gotten it. It's really dark down here. Um, and I'm really excited, even though I'm moving. <laughs> Look, I steamed my couch today. I'm trying to think, is it really, it's like bare and messy in here. But it's not that messy anymore. Oh, an archer sleeping on his box. Hold on. You sleeping? How are your eyes, baby? My sick little bull, Sean. You guys, he, has, he wants to go outside so bad, but every time he does, he has allergies, and I feel so bad. It's like, leave him crying inside, or have allergies, and then give him what he knows. Do you know? Oh, sorry, I should show. Is this your favorite little spot? Now where's that steamer I love? Okay, now this is where it gets messy in my place. This is kitchen. Um, so it's just, God, I should turn this around so I can see. How do I do that? Mm, worst YouTuber vlogger ever. So 
it's like a portable steamer, but it has these attachments like this that make it really easy to clean like appliances. Like you can use, clean the cabinets, blinds. Like there's all these different ones that are big like this. Uh, God, I want to say it every time I'm such a dork. That's what she said, but they don't make it anymore. And like this one is the scrubby side. It's so convenient. Like I cleaned some of the cabinets before like I ran out of the water inside, which it lasts like 15 minutes maybe. Like I would expect a small little portable thing like that. Uh, but yeah, I cleaned the cabinets, the oven. I still need to do more of the oven. The couch, like the blinds. Oh my God, these blinds are so gross. Sorry, I think I showed you like blinds in there. That's a cat room. Uh, so I clean these, like the blinds over there. I clean the couch. I cleaned those blinds, like they look so clean to me, but no one else would really notice. <laughs> and some of the stairs, um, the rest of everything. And like the baseboards too. Even like walls, you can clean anything with it. So I need to get a steamer that has like, that's portable and has more attachments is my point. Um, I think my dryer is broken, which sucks. Archer, want to say hi? You look sad. Mom, stop cleaning. Stop vlogging. Play with me. Are you hungry? Mm, always. Oh, what's wrong? Are you hungry? He doesn't look. He's probably really tired because I kept them up, but. Um, I don't even know how much I'm going to put in. You guys are probably like, shut up. Uh, but you probably want to look at my house a little bit too. It's messy. Uh, so yeah, I'll talk to you guys when I talk to you. <laughs> Hello, it is Sunday, uh, 5 p.m., like 7 a.m. Uh, kitty time. I never usually refer to myself in third person. I feel like weird doing that. Uh, but yeah, so it's 5, and I want to get this video up tonight, so I figured I will uh, just film getting ready and talk to you then. I had so much I wanted to do. <laughs> I didn't get as much done yesterday, uh, but I'm okay with that because I had like more social time. I spent time with multiple people, including you guys. So it was a great day, great weekend so far. Uh, and yeah, there's always tomorrow and tonight. But I think I wanna keep this up. I hope you guys like it. <laughs> so what are we, we're gonna do our makeup. And okay, so I've gotten a lot of comments, like obviously like I've lost weight or whatever. Uh, I'm trying not to be snarky. I thought of like something in the shower. I wanna say it's so bad. But some people like say they're like, worried about how it, my weight or something. Like I've lost too much weight. I'm like, obviously they're like letting their inner insecurities out on me. Like I'm healthier, like F off. But uh, if you're worried about me, like why would you go online and tell it to like a thousand people? Like if you were a real friend, you'd like talk to me in private. Uh, so you don't have to say it online. You can just uh, go ahead and send me some money for food because I'm super hungry. So there's going to be an Amazon link down below along with like uh my cash app so you can send that to me and I'll eat more. I, I'll even film myself eating if you want. So uh, you, if you're so worried, you can do that for me. <laughs> um, but okay, I, I couldn't help it. I shower right before I film these vlogs and apparently you guys get all my thoughts. So, uh, you get those anyways. But um, one thing, like around the time I started losing weight, like that was noticeable, uh, I also started doing my makeup a little different. Like, and I think it kind of contours my face. And also, I um, use facial tools that shape your face too. And I've been doing like mouth exercises, <laughs> mostly for TMJ, like the side of my um, face, like it really hurts. So I've been doing that and that shapes my like jawline a little bit too. Uh, so yeah, there's more to it than just losing weight and it's mostly my face because I've been stable. Like I haven't lost any more in like the past few months. Uh, and I don't want to talk about my weight anymore. I'm healthier, happier, so you should try to do something that makes you happier too. Uh, but most of you guys are awesome. I'm just sorry. I can't help it. I'm not even in a bad mood at all. I just had to say it. I hope everyone is feeling okay. So you can see me all natural, no sleep really. Uh, go into my glam. And I need a bite of food. Okay. I'm, I'm like a child. You guys know this, but these are actually good. I didn't even know they made anything besides raisins. Are there raisins in this? I don't know. These are by Sunmade. They're PB&J bites. I've been wanting a PB&J sandwich for some reason forever. Something that like if you actually went grocery shopping would be very easy to obtain. But I got these and they're pretty damn good. There are raisins. That makes sense. Right before I started filming, my hematite ring broke 
And it's crazy. It broke as I was thinking about it. Um, I was thinking about how I lost the one before it. I'm like, wow, it must have been really absorbing some negative energy. And right at that moment, this one fell and broke. So I'm like, I, some people would be like, oh, God, I'm so negative. But I, I'm thinking of it as like my negativity is gone, like all the bad stuff. I've been working through it, um, really into self-care lately. I have so many things on my mind. I'm like sporting it all together. Sorry. <laughs> I haven't had coffee yet or anything. But it broke into pieces, and you're supposed to put this back into the earth, they say. But there's also some rituals that call for iron, and you could use uh, hematite. So I think I'm going to save it, and if not, I'll put it in one of my plants. But yeah, broken three pieces. Like, And I don't know where the other one is. See, all my negativity is gone, but you know, it still made me a little nervous, but I've got backup. Uh, so, yeah. I was going to do um, or use makeup for my boxy charm because I already peaked during a live stream recently. <laughs> uh, and I got the Lady Gaga palette, and it's, I was gonna use it, but I want to use the ABH palette again. So, I've done two looks with the ABH Mountain Renaissance so far, and I haven't used like the more like neutral shades, so I'm gonna do that today. But who knows, I'll probably like dip into those ones. I'm really liking this. I haven't used ABH in so long and I love the tones and everything. And I like the tones in this Lady Gaga one, or I say that, I should, Haas Laboratories. Uh, but it's not the, I mean, when I first swatched it, whenever I had that live stream like last Thursday, I wasn't impressed, but when I swatched it today, it seemed better. I did not on my arm, but I think I already cleaned it off kind of, but. I mean, there's shades I like. I know I like it. Especially this one. This was my favorite. The purple. See, yeah, they're fine. But I'm going to have to wait. I have so many palettes I need to use more of. <laughs> this little PYT. I have a little, like, the Chella one or whatever. I grabbed this one because I used it the other day and I'm wearing green. But I'm going to change. Usually, I, well, I used to always just wear what I wanted, like, to wear that night or day um, when I did my makeup so I could, like, match it or whatever. But I would get makeup on or some just do stupid shit, so now I change. Uh, if I, so if I film, I'll change, or I'll just keep this on. Uh, I love this palette. I do wish there was a matte green. Uh, why aren't there more matte greens? Are they hard to formulate? Because people always say purples are hard to formulate, but there's purples in palettes all the time. But these colors do really work well together. I like this palette a lot. And I want to use it now, too. I wish I could just put everything on my face. I'm gonna need to turn the air down, sorry guys. These lights are like falling too many. Damn it, I have to wash my brushes again. You guys are supposed to remind me. Um, oh yeah, so let's talk to you guys when I do my makeup. Hopefully, I get this video up at a decent time. Uh, I was thinking that in the vlogs, I'll kind of like in a section go over like my favorites of the week or whatever because it'll be more natural than like coming up with a constructed favorites video like looking back and be like so what would I like this month you know it'd be like just spur of the moment what I like like I already grabbed one thing uh I'll just tell you guys my deodorant <laughs> I have already talked about Zian Health I the original bold uh is the only natural deodorant well said so no um Zian Health deodorant is the only natural deodorant that works for me like seriously I've tried, so the original Bold is the one I like fell in love with that I've used for at least a year and a half. Uh, I think we're going on two years in July because I could see on Amazon when I purchased it. Uh, and then I tried like, I got a sample of their Amber one and I don't know if it was Bold or not, but I didn't think it worked as well. Uh, but I saw they have the scent Palo Santo and I love these uh, cleansing sticks. It's like sandalwood scent and it's in bold and this one works just as well and I love it and it makes me feel like I'm like cleansing myself in a way even though I don't know it's just like the scent probably but I love it and I think this could be unisex for sure. So can the original. I think even the amber one. I can't really remember that one. I can't speak on fully because I don't remember everything but I get um, so many bad reactions to natural deodorants. Or they just don't work at all. Usually, well, all of them don't work. Besides, this. like I won't even be that sweaty, and I'll just it stink. Uh, and I'm not like a super stinky person. I don't think maybe I am, but this stuff doesn't irritate me, and it works really well. Like just like a regular deodorant, it works all day. And I sweat a lot. <laughs> I'm like sweating right now. So I don't know what I react to in other deodorants because this one has essential oils, which some people react to, and I think it has baking soda too. Yeah, it does. So I don't know what caused reactions in the other ones, but this one doesn't, and I love it. <laughs> so that's my favorite for the moment. Uh, let me turn on the air. Six of them. I wish I could put music on. 
Oh, and I should tell you guys like my story. I, uh, let me start my makeup or I never will. I don't know how people do weekly vlogs and have them be like 16 minutes. They must not film a lot or not. Like, because I already have 24 minutes. I didn't watch the footage. Uh, I don't even know if I should include all of it because I got like really excited about the steamer, which by the way, I am going to include it because I'm telling you now my friends that I could keep it. I'm like, it was like one of the nicest things, like besides like my birthday gift from you guys, like, uh, and like spending time with me and stuff. Not that, just spending time with me, the gifts don't really matter, but like just, it just meant a lot to me because I, it really is helpful. So thank you friends. Um, I should have primer. I'm going to use the ABH primer. I've been liking it. I still use my NYX glitter glue. I don't think you need to. I just like it. Especially because I wear my makeup for so many hours sometimes. Hi, Emmy. Hi. You're so soft and clingy. Did we clean you guys today, finally? Ours are halfway. I can never. Look how cute you are. Look at the camera. Hold on. The quality is okay. Hey, Emmy, where'd you put it? What'd you do with it? Lip balm. Oh, I'm still loving Marc Jacobs lip products. I didn't even use this one until the other day. This is the Marc Jacobs Preached Enamor Hydrating Lip Gloss Stick. See what it's like. I'm so thirsty. It's like a tinted lip balm slash gloss. You can get these BoxyCharm pop ups. Actually, did I see that in the last pop-up? What did you guys get? I know you guys got something, didn't you? <laughs> I got, I almost got all of the Pinky Rose Cosmetics palettes. I've never even tried one before, but I just wanted them all. Like, even though, then I looked at them, and I was like, okay, there's some repetitive shades. I don't need them. I don't need anything. But I got at least two. I think I got two of those. And then um, the Fenty Hydrating uh, Foundation, which I have. Maybe I'll try this today, the matte one. I just like the more hydrated look, so, and I know this shade match is good. We'll use this and my BB cream. How about I put my BB cream on now a little bit? Even though we don't need SPF for thighs. I wonder if that helps with blue light a little bit. Hmm. So good. Still a little wet. So I've been using this BRTC. I'm gonna put primer on. This will just be my primer, whatever. I'm not doing things how I normally do. I just want some more hydration here. But this one's more like gray tone. I don't, I don't know. The Fenty one seems yellow toned, but I'll show you when I get to it. I like to do my eyes before my foundation. I just love beauty creams lately because, especially ones that provide a little bit of coverage like this one, because they're so hydrating. Hydrated skin. Just equals healthy skin to me. Even if you look shiny, I'm okay with shiny skin. I know some people don't like that. I'm gonna have that no matter what because it's like hot. Or... <laughs> See, like just that and the lip balm. I mean, not like I look amazing, but like quick if you had to. notifications on my phone but I won't pay attention um so yeah that ritual I did the other night I think really worked I mean I have like kept myself busy too uh so I'll tell you guys about it I'm like embarrassed even I can't believe I did that but I share everything with you guys so why not share about this I usually don't talk about guys because I haven't like actually dated anyone and like it's something you don't talk about like when it's not gonna go anywhere or, you just met them or something because then people ask you about it it's just weird you know how it is or maybe you don't because you've been with someone for a long time but yeah, I don't know. Um, and it's really embarrassing because this guy I've been into, we never even met in person, but like we talked all the time. Like, you know, I don't know. Maybe you know, cause like, you know, the like past year and stuff like that, but shouldn't have been so upset. But you know, I'm human, I have feelings, whatever. Uh, so my ritual, I don't think I came up with this myself. I feel like I read about it a long time ago, not recently. So I don't know who to give credit for, but I think I like spun it in my own way. 
So what I did, I pretty much acted like it was like a memorial like service, <laughs> like a funeral in a way, um, even though I don't think anyone would actually, I mean, most people wouldn't do this for a death, like just like get all the morning out and then just be like, bye. But I even like printed out a photo. I listened to like music he likes, but I like too. I was like, is this going to ruin the music for me? But no, no, it hasn't. <laughs> I won't let that happen. Um, what else did I did? I just like, you know, thought happy and sad thoughts and. Then I gave myself a time limit, and once I hit that time, I was like, okay. And I uh, I was going to burn the photo, but I just threw it away. And it was just like throwing my feelings away. Uh, that was like the very abbreviated version of it, but it like symbolic. Like the whole ritual part of it just really like closed it for me, I think. Like right now, thinking about it, like I would love to hear from him, see how he's doing, whatever, but like I'm, I'm fine. So that's that. <laughs> Moving on. I don't like talking about that stuff. <gasps> but I'm an open book with you guys. I also made me realize I haven't dated in so long. Like, legit dated. <laughs> maybe I should one day when I move, maybe. But at the same time, I don't want to. And a little bit does go a long way with this. There's a hair on my nose. I made your hair on my nose. Oh, and now I have, oh, I got it, I think. I guess this kind of could be concealer for me, so. Hmm. Let's see. How long have I been on here? 15 minutes? <laughs> I haven't even done anything. So, in the modern renaissance, I've used some of these shades before. So. Like I've used tempura, raw sienna, burnt orange, cypress umber. I think it was just cypress. I don't know. Warm token. So I always sit like with a towel on my couch when I get ready and stuff, just so I don't get my beloved couch dirty, and because I can just like clean my brushes on it. My Emmy, because we're too lazy to get up and get something. Oh, did I? Oh, I think I already used the material that came in the box returns. I don't think you really need to set down this, but I am. And I use the shade Tempura, which is kind of like a satin. I don't think most people would, but you know what? No rules in makeup or any. Well, I mean, there are rules in life, I guess, like laws. <laughs> makeup, no. I mean, you shouldn't put like liquid lipstick on your eyes, unless it says you can, but. <laughs> I think most of those like lip and eye safe ones I usually like glosses or balms, right? Oh. <laughs> what should I do now? I'm gonna go into golden ochre. Yellowish. What else do I want to talk to you guys about? So many things. <laughs> I have a whole list. Uh, yeah, you guys have to let me know your thoughts, uh, what you want from the channel. Like, I might put out a survey if you guys don't mind feeling it. I know that's dork. But I want to know what you guys like and want. Like, I'm having fun, like, changing things up. But I know I'm not very consistent with times and stuff. And some people really need that. So, and the people that don't need that don't really care. So, it's like I should cater to the people that care. Am I making any sense? Like, like with a schedule, um, with time. Cause like my subscriber growth is like stagnant. Like I think I actually am down to the past 20 days and that's never happened. Um, I'm not upset about it. Like I understand, I guess, but I want to make things better and everyone happy and me happy and just a happy little place on the internet, you know? Uh, so I would really appreciate that. I'll try and do that soon. Note to self when I'm editing, do it quick, like one by the time. Uh, this video is up because I think you can do it in MailChimp. I don't know. Like a survey thing. Or... I'm trying to think how you can do it without giving any information. Like, I won't use your email for anything. I too... can't even keep up with other things. I'm not going to, like, blast your, like, your email with stuff. Like, buy my merch! Which, by the way, merch... <laughs> I know Teespring is pretty expensive. But when I talk, I just keep doing the same thing with my eyes. <laughs> And I tried to lower prices 
I just wanted to bring that up because I don't want people to think I'm like raising prices to like make a lot of income or something. <laughs> but I think they do that like or have higher prices because there's like two people trying to make a profit. You know, like they probably make a lot and then like, you know, the creators make a little bit as well. So I tried to put the price down on some things. But I also don't want to too much because I want to have other people's work um, featured like in a month or two. Like whenever I move and like have money. <laughs> uh, I think that would be really cool. So, and I'd pay them for their time, like their work. So, to go towards that on their channel. Because I had subscribed to three new boxes. I, one I just shipped yesterday. I'm exciting, excited. Uh, what's it called? Awakened? Or, couldn't even remember what version of the box I subscribed to. I forgot. Oh. But it's like crystals. And two of the versions are more expensive. And you can get like an Oracle deck or a Tarot deck. And I think I wanted one of those, but I didn't subscribe to it because of price. So I might have just gotten the crystal. I don't know. I forget. <laughs> I really want to subscribe to Lunarly. Does anyone have that box? Uh, you get like plants and spiritual stuff. Like, like it's all about like the new moon and like new rituals and like setting your intentions. Like it's perfect. <laughs> it's like forty five dollars. I think they have an ambassador program. I need, I'm gonna apply to it and see if they um, would like to, you know, me to be an ambassador or affiliate. I don't know if that means free product, but I want to get that box when I can. But are there any subscriptions you guys would like to see me open? Let me know. Especially in the realm of that stuff. <laughs> I'm more likely to, but I want to hear no matter what. Because I don't want to, like, I mean, obviously it won't be all crystals and stuff like that on our channel. But, like, that's what I'm into. Which, by the way, if you guys want the hematite rings, like, if you're into that stuff, um, some a lot of their, the ones that are online, not a lot, I don't know how many, but there's a lot of fakes out there. And I can put the one I got that's like certified. It's a good, it's legit. I got on Amazon. I'll link it down below. I'll try and link everything I talk about. And if I forget, nudge me. I was going to say poke me. Do they still have that feature on Facebook? I don't, I don't remember seeing it recently. But I also don't go on there much. God, I'm loving these shades. Burnt orange. I knew I liked burnt orange already, though. Now, what do I want to do? Deepen up the outer corner. Oh, was that real girl? Is that how you say that? I love that shade. Hi, cutie pie. Come here, little baby. You follow me everywhere. I love you. Oh, I just love these shades. This one in red ochre, which I'll probably have to use, too. I get, this palette's like better than I expected, even based on like everything, you know, oh my god. Oh, I just love these shades so much. I was going to put on a cool tone dress from La Tote. <laughs> um, a few new things, they're all like cool tone. I was going through a little cool tone phase and now this is making me warm. <laughs> Not like it matters. I said no rules, but sometimes I don't know. I'll figure out what to wear, or I'll just keep it what I'm wearing on now. My brahmi, like three people. So I used to not do this, but I bring my eyeshadow out like further, like along with a little bit of eyeliner to elongate my eyes because I have small eyes. Just thought I'd point out there. You guys probably notice. You know, I like doing my eyes first, so if it's like messy, I can clean it off. Yeah. Okay, where is my other pen? This stuff lasts forever. I love it. This will be one of my favorites to the next glitter glue. It really helps. I just dab it on with my finger. I'm like three fourths of my life. Weird. I'm really loving that. Um, ABH brow pen too. I mean, I just got it, but I need to be better about doing like one, my one eye brow. It's hard to make them twins. They're definitely like sisters. <laughs> I've heard someone say that before. So. Cousins. I want a sister just so I like know what she would look like. Is that weird to say? That's why I want kids. I just want to see what they look like, and then they can go away, or maybe I'd keep them. 
I wish you could do like the Sims thing, just like generate their faces. Like, I guess who would be the father? I don't know. Never mind. I need to stop <laughs> talking. <laughs> but I really do. Like, I want to see what they look like. I'm just not. Okay, so I'm gonna put Primavera. Ooh, Pasta Primavera sounds good. Just trying to see what you guys see on the light. I had the light off, but it was too bright. Too bright. Oh, I love it. Yes. So after Mega Monday, I think I'm gonna have enough. Well, I already probably have enough to put the giveaways together. I was gonna like include that, like going through my stuff and how I do it uh, in this video, but I have there's no time. Uh, I am getting ready early for myself right now. Okay. I hope you guys like the vlogs, cause I'm the type of person if I don't get like feedback or something, I'll just be like meh, you know, like I forget, move on to the next project. I want to do this cause it's so much easier just to jump on my phone, like you know, and talk to you guys about things. I know I've said this before, but you know, I won't even look at the views, like who cares if, you know, as long as some people are enjoying it and I'll make it more interesting as we go along, you know, it'll be more, it'll be better. I'll like understand how to film vlogs better and stuff, experiences everything. That's how I learn. All right, we will finish up the eye after we do the base. Another thing I've been liking is this cover girl. Uh, under eye concealer. <laughs> Does it really say under eye? Undercover. I was like, because I use it every day. And I've been loving the Sea Witch, uh, like lip and cheek tint. And I don't love it just because it says witch. I like it because it's good. I love it. Oh, I should wash my sponge, but I don't want to. <laughs> I'm washing my sponge with a makeup oil. Don't, I don't advise this. Oh, there's. I, my laziness just made me remember something I wanted to bring up for like something I'm loving. I've just started using it though. In my Grove order, the Grove Collaborative, I got these uh, toothpicks because, they're not toothpicks, I guess they're kind of toothpicks. They're like flossing, like those little individual flossers, which I would prefer or do prefer over the regular floss and way more likely to use, but I haven't gotten them in a while because I felt like they were like wasteful, you know they are. But these are made from like plant-based materials and stuff like this. So it made me feel less bad, but they work really well. Maybe I just haven't flossed in a while, but it has like a double floss on it and it's like charcoal and it, it works like it's crazy. Like I love them and I'm going to start flossing more because I was disgusted. Um, so yeah, you guys should join Grove. They have beauty stuff too. I haven't tried their beauty things, but if you guys get Grove, let me know like what your go-tos from there are. <laughs> like I have all these Mrs. Meyer stuff. I love like the limited edition scents they have or like exclusive ones, like fresh cooked grass I got last time. And then this time I think I got that again because it was like on sale, like it's about to go away and I liked it. Something about it's just like nostalgic and refreshing. But I got like mint and lilac too. I don't know. So I love to clean my house, but like this, I do clean ev like everything. I broke my ring when I was trying to clean it. <laughs> but I'm not like OCD cleaner. So anyways. A little bit on my back, on the back of my hand. So I have this soft matte longwear foundation by Fenty, the Pro Filter in 120. So I just got the same shade in the hydrating formula. I hope they're the same. I would assume so. That would be kind of messed up. If it weren't like, for, why would they do that? I'm so used to using my fingers. I used to think using your fingers is gross. Oh, I think brushes and sponges are way grosser because I can wash my hands all the time, you know? Like, I know what's on there for the most part. Oh, there's makeup remover that made it damp. I'm like, is that going to take off the makeup? I'm just going to use my fingers. Stupid. Oh, we have another sponge. I think I went through all of them. So clean. I'll just clean it in a second. All right, I'm going to pause this 30 minutes. I'll be back. <laughs> Confession, I did not get up and clean my sponge, but I did eat some PB&J bites, and I was going to just, like, do some steps in my makeup, and I realized, no, I'm supposed to show you guys some stuff. <laughs> uh, so I'm going to put on some concealer. 
For a while, I wasn't really using much concealer, and now I just like load it up and put it everywhere. But I feel like this is like medium coverage, maybe. I don't know. I like to call it my war paint. When I wear a braid, I like freaking love it, but it makes me feel like a warrior or princess or something. Like, I don't know what I'm about. Sometimes when I look in the mirror, not all the time. I don't always look in the mirror. I'm like, yeah, damn, warrior princess. Like, I wish I did every time. Anyway. Um, I always try and blend this in first right here in case I forget. Yeah. I think that has to do with my shape of my face. Maybe I was talking about, you know. It does oxidize. What shade do I have? Porcelain, so the lightest shade. You can pretty much always assume that towards the lightest. But now, like, with the expanded shade ranges, like with Fenty, for example, they have a great shade range. I'm not the lightest, but I mean, I'm 100 is, and I'm 120. <laughs> and it goes, like, in 10s, I think. Is there a 15? I don't know. I'm using that in the mirror. Okay, I always forget I shouldn't put concealer on my tip of my nose. Nothing stays there, really. Maybe, I usually don't notice my skin as much, but it's because I put that matte foundation on. You can like, see my pores. Which yesterday, by the way, I kind of had like a reaction on one side of my face. I forgot to mention that, or did I later at night? I don't know. I don't know what it was too. Every time I have a small reaction or any reaction, uh, it's when I use multiple products that are new. I'm like, which one will I learn? But it's fine. It wasn't bad at all. But my pores were like emphasized. Like I couldn't even put makeup over it. It's weird. But this is the part. So I love this. Long time favorite now. And I still have so much more to go. I like to kind of clean it up sometimes. It's messy. So the Milk Makeup Matte Bronzer Stick in Baked. So I kind of, and I do it a little bit higher up than I used to, I think. Then. <laughs> I, this step changes everything, I think. And when I do the sponge, I like to blend it in. I blend up, so don't, make sure you don't like put it more down, like. It just makes me look like I'm more of a cheekbone, like. Or is it just me? I don't know. I shouldn't have put it on this side. So I kind of put it like where my blush would be too. Cause you don't, you know, maybe you can just do the bronzer. Like if I had to pick just one, oh no, I love blush though. And where you apply your bronzer, like, like how I do on my forehead, I have a long face like, oh. My battery's still, uh, long face, so like I just put it all around to kind of like make it seem like I have a smaller forehead, like based on your face shape. You can figure out what's best for you, but I think this is best for me, and I kind of just push it back into my hairline. And this stuff blends out so well. Love it. Oh, and for like the face tools I mentioned, just like the rollers, facial rollers, the gua sha's you can use. Um, those like ice ball, like so many things you can just like move in the contours of your face. If you do it regularly, that helps. And there's also this method. I can't remember the name of it, but it's like where your tongue is placed and that helps shape your jaw. It takes time, but I like looked into it over a year ago. I don't think I do it all the time, you're supposed to, but just like placing your tongue in the back, like on the top of your mouth, like <laughs> why am I doing it? You can't see, but. And the roof of your mouth, is that the right way to put it? Like towards the back, I don't know, but over time that could help develop your face structure. Uh, and like, you don't hang your mouth low or anything like that. I don't know, I, I'm not good with words yet. I need caffeine. <laughs> don't I look different kind of? And you can also put a little bit right here, that's what I do with anything left over to kind of emphasize that. More structured face, I think. <laughs> but we're not done. Blush, I love blush so much. Let's use the Sea Witch. No, it doesn't matter. We're gonna use, uh, 
I love the Sea Witch for, it goes with most, like warm or cool. Uh, but for warm tone looks, I like this one, the Grand, Grande Pop Plumping Liquid Blush in Cinnamon Sugar. It's way too dark for me. I put a little bit on my hand, but like barely anything. I don't even use half of it, uh, but I make it work, I think. I put a lot of blush on, but I like that look. Just a little bit of color, too. So I use my fingers first and just kind of dab it around. And I do this higher, too, and I go all the way up to my nose and get like a sun-kissed look. I'm like, look, like so much better, right? <laughs> but you know, makeup's individual. You might like different things than I do. We all have different faces, different preferences, whatever. I'm just showing you what I like and how I feel confident. <laughs> I just love the sun kiss look because I don't go out in the sun. I don't know, that's not why, but I just go over the bridge of my nose a little bit. Now I'll go in with a sponge after. And there's still so much left. Sometimes I'll go in with more or four more. And for a warm toned uh, highlighter look, or warm toned looks, the highlighter I like to use lately is by Becca. Where is it? Oh, it's right in front of me. Your fingerprints are all over it. And this is the Glow Glaze Stick in. Skin love. love. She love your skin. Love everything. Okay, cheesy bit. This is gonna be a long video because I don't wasn't really planning on editing anything. You know, maybe if I like walk out of the room or something like dead space, but I feel like there hasn't been much dead space. And another thing I do, I use my highlight all the way up to my nose, too. I used to just do up here, but I like it like this. Again, I like a dewy look. I feel like it makes you look healthier. Oh, I was going to try that Tarte highlighter slash concealer. I don't know. Maybe I'll add it. Sometimes I'll put a little up here. I don't think it's very like natural glow, uh, opposed to like the Ofra highlights I would use all the time before. Uh, sometimes I'll do both. Um, what else can I do? I guess I can talk about this more in my in Monday's video. Not on Monday. This is their Shape Tape Glow Wand. I still have the box. I have to put all my makeup out and then clean up as I go, but I haven't been doing the cleanup. I guess I use it, put it away. I started keeping just like baskets all around to help with that kind of thing, like with clutter. I got them, this is probably like I said, two for like couple dollars or maybe even less like 96 cents each or something at Walmart like with my grocery delivery try and remember that um, also if you guys don't use Walmart grocery delivery I can give you like ten dollars credit I think uh, I love it you don't have to leave your house you can shop online and like <laughs> and after you place your order you can even log back in and uh, like add things if you forget up to a certain point love that So I'm going to use the Wander Beauty Frame Your Face Micro Brow Pencil. And this one is in dark brown, but I just do it really light-handed. And I love it. I like the micro pencil. <laughs> and I almost said micro penis. I don't love the micro penis. I don't want to get demonetized. Just from... I wonder if that would happen. Did I go a whole like 30 minutes without being a weird perv, like child? Hmm. I 
I have a brown owl. <laughs> yeah, it's just so easy to do. And it's not like too creamy, it's not too stiff. <laughs> For, um, but I didn't really do the front because I'm going to do some brow. There you go. It looks like an eyeliner on <laughs> the brow pen by you. Right, it's not too dark. I don't think well, you guys can tell me if it is, but I'm still gonna use it. <laughs> Maybe I wouldn't. It depends on who says it, but I think it's fine. Maybe they're second cousins too, I think. I have two different shaped eyes a little bit, like, so it makes it harder too. But I don't care about being perfect. I think being the imperfections are what make someone then and not the eyebrows really just in general. <laughs> she said, Oh, Annie. Hi. You should tire because you don't sleep when I don't sleep. Mm. I think I did a good job. I looked at my list uh, when I turned off the camera for like one minute earlier. And I talked about most things. What didn't I talk about? Yeah. Oh, I'm going to show you guys more PR stuff. Uh, that'll be another video because we don't have time for that. And I showed you the contacts. Thanks in advance for... Uh, oh, shit. See, I messed up. For your um, help with contacts. Oh, I remember one thing I wanted to tell you guys. Um, I know I mentioned I wanted to show you my space and everything. Well, they're being like professional photos taken of where I live on the first. So that's, I'm like cleaning a lot for that. So I'll be, it'll be, you know, I know it'll be clean for me to show you next week if you guys are interested. It's June 1st next week. Um, and then I'm gonna put some brow gel in because I touch my face sometimes like around my eyebrows and I brush not brush, I like wipe off my eyebrows sometimes. And I like the Milk Makeup Kush Fiber Brow, like the regular one. I don't know where it is, but I have also it in haze, so it's a little bit of a tint. Whatever. I do it in upward strokes to make it look like I have brow hair as well. I'm getting there. Let's just finish up my eyes. I think I need to put a little bit of red ochre <laughs> on my outer V. Guys, I'm just loving this. I love makeup so much. Like, seriously, the power of makeup. You can transform your look if you want to. You don't have to. You know, like, whatever makes you feel confident. Like, I feel more, like, alive and awake and confident when I have makeup on. It's, like, how I start my day. I don't know. Like, I hate when people tell me, like, oh, you don't need makeup. You shouldn't wear makeup. You don't need it or something. I'm like, but I want to. I like it. Like, don't, you know, why are you? I just don't get it. Like it's a bad thing. God, I love this shade so much. You know what I realized I haven't been doing lately? Inner corner highlight. I don't do it much. Like I think I was thinking about that yesterday or earlier, but I go through phases with things. But I don't have a brush to do with it. So I'm not even gonna do it today, even though I mentioned it. Uh, eyeliner. I used to not wear eyeliner and now I like need it. <laughs> I'm using the fancy one currently. I like to warm it up on my hand first. So what's new with you guys? I talk a lot about myself because I wish you guys were here to respond, but tell me what's new with you? Anything exciting? Are you working on yourself? Like right now I'm all about like self care. I spend so much time a day doing it, but I'm growing, um, it's helping. And I love that. So that's what I'm doing. Tell me what you're doing, uh, what your interests and hobbies are. How your family is, your kids, your lovers. Why did I say that? I don't know. Whatever. <laughs> Plural, too. Hey, I don't judge. Oh my god, eBay just reminded me of something. So, you know, I was. eBay had a problem. <laughs> but, like, I found a lot of good deals, but I realized you can get crystals. Um, but I don't think it'll remain a problem because. First, I looked at it and there was like all these crystals that were like really heavy, like with free shipping that were like starting off at one cent for these 
auctions, but so many people bid on them. Like, I'm not going to get anything for cheap, so it doesn't make it as fun. Like, I'm not winning a bunch of $5 things or $4 things. But I think I did win one crystal. Like, it was like 5 bucks because that's like what I'll pay. Wow, it's going off a lot. What? Why? Did I win something? I'll look in a second. I look when I'm filming? I don't Do you know, am I messing up this eye? Because I'm distracted. Eyeliner is one thing you should pay attention to. And I don't bring my eyeliner all the way towards the front. I heard that like closes off your eyes and I think it does. Do it like halfway or a little bit more than halfway. I always like this eye and then the, but you know what? You put on mascara and then you forget and it looks good still. I'm almost done. Okay, eBay, what? It did shut off. I thought it was still on. Oh, I was just talking to you guys about my Thrive Cosmetics mascara. Something before that too about like crystals and stuff. So the notifications were just like things were ending because it's almost 6 p.m. Which means I've been doing pretty good for timing. I should always talk to you guys when I do my makeup. <gasps> Sometimes I don't, I don't know if it's my makeup that takes long. I stop and like take care of the kids. I don't know what I do. I'm probably on my phone. I'm probably checking notifications. Which I just did and it screwed me up. But um, I was just saying, you guys, <laughs> that I think after using my Thrive Cosmetics uh, Liquid Lash Extensions <laughs> and Brin, for a while I like, couldn't say that name. Uh, Brin is the black shade. Do they have other shades now? I don't know. But uh, anyways, they claim that it can make your lashes grow and because it has like nourishing oils and stuff. And I think mine have grown a little bit. Uh, so that's cool. Just I've been using it for a while. I was trying to think of when I first got it. It's gotta be well over a year, right? There's not much left in here. You can tell it's like getting clumpy. Usually I can tell with Thrive that it's like really done when I st it starts flaking because it normally doesn't do that on me, ever. It's the best mascara. Oh, my friend in Chicago said she might have had a reaction to it. I'm like, are you sure that sucks? <laughs> oh, this stuff's great. just don't like when I use regular mascara. It like doesn't come off as easily and like, those bags in your eyes, flaking. Hooded Eye Girls, try this. Worth it. Oh my god, it's clumpy. Yeah, just don't judge this mascara silly on today because it's way over do like to be tossed. <laughs> and I just fucked it up. I need to start listing things on Mercari. I made a list of things I want to do every day, and one is list three things for sale or, like, give away. Three, three things, like, just get three things out somehow, either through giveaways, giving to friends, uh, you guys, like, selling. So pretty much, uh, Mer oh, God damn it, did it shut off again? No. I'm going to try and do that today. Every day. <laughs> oh. I try and push my lashes like towards my eyelids, like my nose bridge. Um, I actually learned that from Hilary Duff, major girl crush, like life crush. I love her. Um, she's yeah, but um, and at first I was like, why don't you usually want to do it like more at the end? But it does make you look more awake, I think. So I try and do that now every time. I don't know if you can really tell, but like it makes a difference because my little lashes and fun. Thanks, Hilary. Thanks, Lizzie. <laughs> Isn't there a remake? Did Colourpop or someone just come out with Lizzie McGuire palette? Hip Dot? Or, well, I don't know. I just, are they the ones that come out? They have, like, Spongebob things. But I was looking for a gift for Nikki, I think, and I saw that. Oh. I want it. Oh, I need to text Nikki. Nikki, I'm going to text you. I love you. So much. Each and every one of you. <laughs> it's true though, I know. I know, you know. We all know I love you. I love makeup. Lips. I didn't even think about my lips. I have some cool tone things because I was thinking about. Hmm. I wonder if I can plug my. God, why? She makes such dramatic noises. Like. So dramatic. I wonder why. Who raised you? <laughs> I'm gonna move you. 
bit closer. I almost broke out into song. Come on. I'm just singing here mostly because I sound stuck in my What lip? <laughs> and sorry again if I'm not looking at you guys. Oh, I have some lip products in here. Orange. Hmm. I really like mauve shades because I love them. Yes, I, got I have way more lips over there. Hi! I love using this Marc Jacobs one. I love with this. Uh, yeah, so, I've already raved about Marc Jacobs today, but this is the... Uh, Kami Enamored High Shine Lip Gloss, and these are so pigmented. I've had people ask me, like, what lip gloss I'm wearing. Should I put some lip liner on my I mean, yeah. Just because I like it. I feel like it keeps it in place. I don't know. I like using it for every step of makeup. Besides, I didn't use any powder. So I don't want to look aged. I'll just use the one I have for you. Which is not the same shade at all. Let's go away. Usually I use the Oh For Less Spicy one. My friend yesterday like said they thought were worried that I got like lip my lips done. I was like, okay, first of all, I don't even like leave. I don't go. To, I'm not going to the doctor to get like a little lip procedure, and I'm like short on money because I'm moving, or I'm like trying not to, whatever. <laughs> like I did not go and get my lips done. I'm like I overline sometimes, mostly on accident. But and this was a guy. They don't. And I think it was not from a video, it was from like a Snapchat or something. Oh, I've been meaning to do that. I want to start a new Snapchat that's separate than like my other one, because my other one has like my last name in it. <laughs> you can't change the username. So I think I'm just going to make one that's Kitty's Boxes, unless somebody already took it. Let's show them how pigmented this is. It is just so pretty. <laughs> I just love these orange shades. Oh my god, you get on my lips. Hmm. It smells minty. Oh, do I have a hair in my lip already? <gasps> I have stuff all in my teeth. PB and J lights, I hope. You guys weren't looking. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Do you guys know what this one? <laughs> I love it. God, this warrior kitty. <laughs> what would make cops? I think, yeah, I wouldn't change my name. Just like with my rapper name, I decided. I'd just be Kitty. And be lyrically gifted and sing well, rap well. Uh, I forgot about that. <laughs> I was like going through a major rap phase. I go through phases with music, you guys. But lately, I'm like listening to like fish and stuff. Um, I like my makeup today. I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. I might like do a little intro now too because starting the vlog off with no makeup, like when I was looking really tired yesterday. I, again, I haven't looked at the footage. So I don't know, but uh, anything else I wanted to talk about. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I know I just said it, but I would love to continue doing this. Please let me know if you did or didn't. Um, and uh, yeah, I think, like I said, but I'll incorporate like favorites, I guess, just as they come up. I think that's a good way because I haven't done a favorites video in a while. I'll do my best to link everything down below. And uh, tomorrow for Mega Monday is going to be like beauty based. So I have Test 2 Beauty, the two boxy charm boxes. Uh, I have Glossy Box, which is supposed to sell out really soon, they said. Hopefully it's not sold out yet. And then I also have well, Simply Earth. That's a June box. Crazy. Um, and I'm probably getting boxes tomorrow. Uh, lately I've just been getting a lot of eBay things. Oh, I, did I tell you this yesterday already? I don't know. I received an uh, eBay order from someone from my neighborhood that I grew up. I don't know them, I don't think. Uh, you know, people get married and stuff, but 
I saw the address and I was like, what? Like, I want to message them and be like, oh my god, I'm from there. Like, you flex away. <laughs> um, is that creepy? I don't know. But I thought that was really weird. I'm like, is there a meaning to this? Like, something about, like, home? Um, I don't know. But I was like, that's just so... But it did make me think to, like, reach out to my friends. Like, oh my god, I got this. Do we know this person? Whatever. Uh, so... Yeah, that was interesting. I don't know where I'm going with this. I should say goodbye, right, Emmy? We're hungry and thirsty. We're so hungry. Oh, I shouldn't say that word. <laughs> I love you guys. Uh, I will see you tomorrow for Mega Monday. I hope you had a great weekend. Let me know what you did, how you are, how your family is. Uh, I hope you're well. I love you so much. I'm so grateful for each and every one of you. You make my day, my life. I love you. Thank you, channel members. And yeah, see you tomorrow. <laughs> Bye.